So we have finally reached the moment, as of course manga readers have been waiting for a very, very long time to actually see this scene of Demon Austin. We finally get a glimpse, anime only, this is what he looks like. And I know that a lot of people have already like kind of know what he looked like already. Like you can see it at the very end of the opening, you know, towards season two. We've seen like a little teaser or screenshots for them preparing for season two for the witch arc. And it was just multiple stuff here and there, especially when Asta versus Vito and the underwater temple are. But now it's confirmed we get his transformation in episode 63. This is what he's going to be looking like throughout everything. We haven't seen any other transformation so far in the manga. So this is his new power. This is his new ability. This is Asta's upgrade that he gets throughout Black Clover. And let's jump more into the episode. How's it going there everyone? My name is Ranger Flame. Welcome everyone to my Black Clover episode 63 anime review. So the topic I want to talk about right off the bat, which I know a lot of people have been discussing about this. A lot of people have been bitching about this, which is the animation for this episode. And I'm not going to lie to you. I am 50-50 on this because this is such an important episode for me truly. Because you guys know, I back up Black Clover no matter what. It had some bad animation episodes. It got a lot of hate throughout here or there throughout the anime. I always stood by it. But this is a part that it was really important to me, by the way, just because this is my favorite arc. I loved reading this in the manga. And coming to animation-wise, I was so excited. I was so pumped because still by far to this day, I could say the animation and the music, just what they played through throughout the underwater temple arc of the Black Bulls versus Vito, was hands down the best animation that they have done. And I thought this would go way beyond because this has been teased here or there. Like they have been getting right. The creators were pumping us up on Twitter, like all around social media throughout this episode because sometimes when like a big episode it's not just Black Clover if it's like for example if it's like Boruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball just whatever anime that you find like if you follow the creators they'll have like those little snippets here or there of them actually making an episode like it won't actually show like that in the episode but, but you kind of you guys know what I'm talking about right just like kind of them creating it you can see like from the very start of how they made the scene to making such a beautiful animation afterwards and we thought this episode was going to be good and I don't know if this is true True. I haven't done a lot of research, but I think the person or the animator that did the Boruto, um, you know, it was the Momoshinki, Naruto, and Sasuke versus, you know, Momoshinki and Boruto, Naruto, Next Generations. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then this is kind of rubbish to you, but the people that do, I think that animator actually came in to help them make this episode, but the animation wise, like they're trying a new style i could definitely see that like in this episode it was confirmed they wanted to try a new style of animation and just kind of make it like look better like they thought that this was going to be a lot better for black clover and everything like that in my personal opinion the animation it was like i get what they were going for but the people that have been saying this and i can kind of agree with them it was hard to see what was going on like and there's a meme going around saying that this is like done in Microsoft Paint like a lot of people are just making memes and making jokes about it and everything like that and I, I get what the animation between Asta and Ladder is fighting and they're just going fast you can tell because Asta gained this new power he was freaking flying at this point going against Ladderus and his salamander power that he got from Fauna so I could see that it was fast paced here or there I get that but at the exact same time it was such a blur and it was very difficult to see what was actually going on in the story and it was actually funny because it was directly after the fight when Asta was about to go to Ladderus like it was at a point where is he actually evil is he actually going to go kill Ladderus and we could tell from the Queen of the Witches you know she's chilling at home you know she was watching from a, like a far away with all of her crows and at a point there was a point in the anime where it actually stopped for a split second and then it continued on. You guys could check that part out. I think it was like halfway throughout the episode. It actually stopped and it just looked like it wasn't finished. And I don't want to complain at all. I hate complaining towards anime and I could be wrong about this animation. And I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people could tell me. Please tell me in the comments down below. But I, I, I get that point. But it just it felt like it wasn't done. And that's what kind of like pissed me off in this episode. But I still get the point what they were going for because like I, I give them props. Like if you want to try something new and an anime, go for it. Like I 100% agree with it because the little changes could actually make your show even better, but they could also make it a little bit worse because I know anime onlys were really excited about this moment. They're curious of what was going on. What is Oz's new transformation? This fight between virus is gonna be sick, but 
I guess it turned down just a little bit here or there. So I agree of what was going on. Like I said before, it's a 50-50 for me. Like I liked it, but I also disliked it. But I guess going more into the story, like I said, Austin's new transformation is here. His full right side is covered, you know, in the black demon power because we all know within a fifth leaf grimoire we side the demon, which we actually see the demon in this episode. We don't just see like kind of his form. We've been teased throughout many times in Black Clover. Even the first episode when Asta first grabs that sword and you can see the demon right behind him. We actually see his talk, we see his actor, his character, kind of what you know the demon is like because he knows that it's someone like Asta hasn't come around in a very, very long time and the demon wants to take control more of Asta. He's like kind of tricking him a little bit. You can make it as a Naruto reference between Naruto and Kuruma or the Nine Tails, whatever you want to call him, that he wanted to control that individual and just go on a complete rampage. But knowing from Austin, he doesn't want to give up. He, like the first time he wanted to give up was the first episode of Versus the Chain Dude, but he doesn't want to be depressed. He wants to harness his power, make it his own and become a stronger mage because this is different for him in this episode. It kind of felt like for the very first time, he actually had magic and grew a lot better. He even says in this episode when he's fighting against ladders that he felt like he was like in a dream he didn't know what was going on like he didn't have this power he kind of understands kind of everyone having magic now he kind of feels a little bit special that he has this power inside him and that if he can control it he can become a lot stronger of a mage and even surpass you know and get closer into the becoming the wizard king so that's a huge development throughout this episode guys because Austin's power there's a point where everyone gets a little bit of development because it's it's like an Austin vs. Yuno. We get that throughout the very first episode. We haven't seen Yuno's full development yet, trust me. It's a little bit as a way, but it's still pretty cool. But as a huge, like, if you guys are an Austin fan, this is huge character development for him in the story of Black Clover. So that is really interesting. Um, so that's kind of the points right there. The animation, Austin's development, really cool against him versus Lattice. Now, I can talk about the last part in this episode, basically. So, last part is the Queen of the Witches. So, there's a huge story to her and kind of backstory as well because throughout this whole entire time, we knew the Queen of the Witches. She was a girl that you did not want to mess with. A real scary individual that, you know, if you go to the, you know, the Queen of the Witches, like if you go into the forest, like even one step could trigger, you could turn into a frog, potentially even die. We saw it like with, of course, fans out talking to Finn and Noel back when they actually became into the forest. So like, she's a really strong individual. She's really terrifying. Even the Diamond Kingdom is even terrified of her as well and she's a person that she wants to get whatever she wants and she's really smart as well because this whole entire time it's not like hey I healed Austin you go and defeat these guys you can go home safely all is good we'll have a truce no the whole entire time she wanted the demon power within Austin she wanted the demon swords throughout everything because a good example is Austin doesn't have magic so he can use the demon dweller sword or the swords in general because he didn't have have any magic he doesn't have magic powers at all so the anti-magic can flow through him as it pleases but if someone does have magic and you hold on to one of the swords it could suck up your power for example when Asta and you know first met the wizard king and the wizard king lifted Asta's sword his magic power was coming out and actually the sword was taking it away from him so that's what Asta is that even the queen of the witches said you're not special but this is what makes you special is that you could hold this power and especially when he versus ladders he can control that demon power because of the queen of the witches because her blood magic which gets explained a little bit in this episode which is terrifying but also really exciting that she used her blood so that Asta could have this demon power because this whole entire time Asta has been blocking that power but since you know the queen has her magic inside of Asta she let that demon power go within Asta like he could have went full on rampage if he didn't verse against the demon in this episode and won like if he would have lost he could have turned into the full demon if he wanted to so the queen of the witch this whole entire time wanted Asta to be her puppet because she can't hold the swords because if she holds the swords her magic power will go inside the sword and her magic can be completely drained so there's a plan from the very beginning that she just wanted Asta and the demon's power 
so that she could use it as her own. And bam, there we go. We have the third villain in the forest arc, which is the Queen of the Witches. We get introduced into the execution ground, which is a very emotional part in the forest arc, which is this is the last part of the forest arc. We're not going to get any more fights. So if you guys are interested about fighting and the action, we're not going to get it. But trust me, the emotional stuff and what's going to happen in the next episode is truly going to be jaw dropping. Trust me, it's going to be intense. There's going to be one big MVP in this episode. And like she is going to be so important to the series. Trust me, the power that she gets is insane. I'm not going to say a name. You guys are probably going to figure out. Margaritas, you know what I'm talking about. But anime only. Maybe you can get a little bit of clues. You know who's going to be that. Who's going to be that special person that's going to save everyone all around. And of course at the ending of the episode we see that you know Asta is being controlled by the Queen of the Witches. And now her job, she wants Asta to eliminate everyone. You know, all the Diamond Kingdom mages, all the Black Bolt members. And let's see what's going to happen in the next episode. But yeah everyone, that was episode 63 of black clover let me down in the comments down below like i said the big thing about me in this episode it was the animation like the storyboarding the story is good like i think 100 percent of the people could agree that the story was a little bit cool but it was the animation down point in the episode i do agree i know what was going on they were trying something different um you know it's a different animation than we got from black clover but with this episode, guys, I really wish that it was a perfect 10 out of 10 for me. But sadly, I'm going to give this episode, guys, an 8.5 out of 10. If it showed a little bit more, like, I guess, then I definitely would have given it a 10 out of 10. But as a standpoint, 8.5 out of 10. I just hopefully for the execution, you know, ground episode that they really pull it off with the bang. Because that is the final part of this arc. So... Hopefully and go out the bane, especially because we haven't got any news yet if they're actually going to go towards more within Black Clover or this is going to be it. They're going to have some time off and make Season 3. I have no idea yet. But thank you guys all for watching this review. Sure, of course, guys, to leave a like, comment down below how you guys felt. Trust me, I would love to read those comments and subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys next week for another Black Clover episode. Much love, everyone. And as always, have yourselves a wonderful day.